goes on or I'll just be up here falling. Hallelujah. You know, I cry about everything anyway, so Hallelujah. it don't take much. Glory to God. Let's just praise him for a minute. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you. Glory Thank you. to God. Thank Let's you, just give him some praise. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. He's already spoken. He's already moved. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I Thank say, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Maybe I ought to bring this forth another Glory. night. It's so, Glory so strong in here, even during prayer, before Praise the service, you can feel Thank his presence so strong. Yes, you Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Just, just all over. Lord, we always you. want you to have your way, Jesus. Yes, yes. We show up here for you. We don't yes. come on a timeline. We don't come Jesus. with a plan Lord, in mind Lord. on how the service Lord, is going to go. We God. want you to have your way. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Lord, you move in the music, you move yes, in the prayer, yes, Lord. you move in testimonies, and I just Thank want you to do Lord. what you want to do. And I pray, Lord, God, that you Lord. say what you want to say tonight. Yes, yes, Lord. I don't want me to be up here. I want yes, them to see hallelujah. you through me. I want them to hear you yes, through Lord. me. In Jesus' name, yes, I pray Lord. that you bless those that Thank hear you, Lord. and yes, help them to receive this word yes, and not yes. to forget it, to hold on hallelujah. to it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, yes, amen. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank the Lord that my yes. children are up here. Yes, thank that you. That they have researched the word for themselves. I didn't help them with that. He didn't help them. Praise Lord. And I thank God for it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All those times of Bible study when I think they're not listening, something got through. Praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> something got through. Yes. yes. You know, Mama can teach them. You can teach your kids the whole Bible, every Bible story, but you can't make them love Jesus. That's right. That's right. Only He can do that. That's right. right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now this is going to be a little emotional. Hallelujah. I'm probably going to cry at the end, but anyway, just hallelujah. Anyway, like those movies you watch, those rom coms. You know, you're crying at the end. Anyway, <laughs> I don't watch. I don't watch those, but anyway. Hallelujah. Um, you can. You may see something peculiar up here. After church, if you want to come look, we, my mom helped me <laughs> Hallelujah. with this. Um, and I think I like props, Sister Tammy, because I do che I teach kids. Mm -hmm. So it helps them visualize and it helps them learn things better. Right. Um, so I do it with mine and with some of them on Zoom that I teach. It's, it makes it more fun and they keeps their engagement. But I just felt led to do this. Um, Hallelujah. Because it's really important message. You know, this is a joyful message from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank We've you. talked about being God's messengers. Um, I feel like all the messages the Lord has given me in the last couple of years is telling us who he sees us as. Yes. Who we are in him. Hallelujah. Because we sure do hear the enemy's voice a lot telling us yes. who we, he thinks we are. Right. But, but this is what the Lord's message to you. Um, he spoke to me very clearly in this, and I'll tell you what he said. Um, he's given me a message about, you know, blow the trumpet, the king is coming, and all about royalty and all that. And the fanfare trumpets that come out before royalty enters and announces the king is coming. Mm -hmm. We talked about being God's friend, Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd, but if you translate it way back, it's to friend yes. that has freed you from captivity. There's a lot of deep meaning in the name Jehovah Ra. Yes. Thank you, the purest form of salt. We remember the salt one. Amen. Yes. We're platinum strong. Yes. Remember when I had Monica's jewelry up here? <laughs> and we have deep roots like the palm by the water because we are by the living water. Amen. Amen. That's what we live off of. Yes. We are preserved. Remember, we're preservative. And we're those gregarious sheep that just love being a part of the flock. Yes. Today, the Lord wants you to know, and this could possibly be my favorite so far, that you are treasured. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And did you know what you are? I'm going to call you something else tonight. Hallelujah. You are a professional treasure hunter. Praise God. I didn't know there was such a thing until. Hallelujah. You are a professional treasure hunter. Hallelujah. Did you know? That you were one of those? Did you think about yourself as a professional treasure hunter? You sure are. I'm about to tell you why. So there are people who do call themselves professional treasure hunters. They That's actually right. do this. Uh -huh. um, yes. They spend hours of dedication. Yes. 
physical work, research, legal work. You have to get permits to go on some of this land. And then you have to buy the equipment. After all this, you may or may not find anything. That's right. And what you do find, we know from Scripture, won't last. Amen. Stop seeking the treasure on earth. Amen. Stop seeking treasure in people. Amen. They're not going to change. Thank you can't you change them. Um, seek treasure in God. Yes. That's yes. what we're going to talk about. Yes. That's everlasting. Yes. He won't let you down. That's right. So use your hours of dedication, research, in here, Amen. in the Word of God. Yes. Yes. Come to church. Bring your equipment. Thank Here's you your Jesus. equipment. That's all you got to bring. Sometimes, Hallelujah. Okay, yeah, just go ahead and bring your equipment. I'll get the pastors looking at me. Uh, bring your Bible. That's your equipment. Hallelujah. You know, so many people have the Bible app on their phone or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I do not recommend that. I recommend you bring your Bible. Yes. Matthew 6, 19, 21 says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Yes. It says, yes. don't do it. Where right. moth and rust corrupts, it ruins it. And where thieves break in and steal. Mm -hmm. But lay up for yourselves where? Treasures in heaven. Yes. The moth or the rust does not corrupt, Amen. and where thieves do not break in and steal. Amen. For where your treasure is, there will your heart, heart, heart be heart also. Amen. We know this one. Yes. Jeremiah 29 says, God says to you, if you will seek me, seek for me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Amen. So once again, as always, God looks at the condition of the heart. Yes. It's all about your heart. And yes. that's why we pray for it so much every day. Yes. God created me a clean heart. Yes. Okay, treasure hunters. Are we ready? How do we find treasure? Well, we're going to need our map. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is our map. Amen. Also recommend finding a prayer closet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when, where do we find the treasure? Well, stop looking at the ground and look up. Uh huh. The treasure is found in Him. Amen. Yeah. You know, we're doing the opposite of what the how the world is finding treasure. Right. How deep do we dig? Y'all remember this song? The more I seek you, the more I find you. Mm -hmm. The more I seek you. Yes. You have control over that. You don't have control over a lot of things. What's that poem? God help me to. Something about the things I can't control. You have control over how much you seek him. Mm -hmm. right. You have control over that. Yes. That's something you can do. It's true. The more I seek you, yes. the, more. the more treasure I find, the more yes. I find you. Yes. And the more I find you, the more I love you. Yes. And that heart condition is going to get better. Yes. Thank you. We have our map. We've done our research. We have obtained the legal right to search yes. for treasure because... We are children of God, and we have an inheritance. So yes. the devil can just chew on that for a little bit. All the glory belongs to him. Yes. All the power belongs yes. to him. Yes. He is our source of salvation. Yes. He is our source of peace, yes. comfort, strength, healing. He is the ultimate treasure. Yes. yes. Treasure is wealth that is stored up. Hmm. I'm say that again. Treasure is wealth that is stored up. Wealth is an abundance of something, whether it be money, possessions, or whatever. Yes. Abundance, great abundance. Mm -hmm. So I've learned from watching over time that not all people measure wealth the same way. That's right. Thank That's you, right. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, we praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that there is a difference between being rich and being wealthy. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can be rich and not be wealthy. That's right. That's right. Amen. You can have a job making a lot of money and buy lavish things. Uh huh. Nice house, car, clothes, purses, shoes, all that kind of stuff, jewelry, all this fancy stuff. But if you lose that job, mm -hmm. you aren't rich anymore. And then you got to sell all that stuff. Amen. Uh huh. But if you're wealthy, you have assets and investments, and that money doesn't just go away when you lose that job. Right. You have it put back for future use. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk financial management here today. <laughs> what if I were to tell you that you have come into some riches? <laughs> yeah. Boy, some people just want to hear that, don't they? <laughs> you have come into some wealth. Yes. <laughs> this night, you have learned. Put it on your calendar. You learned today. You are today years old, as they say, when you learned 
You have come into, you're rich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are so rich. I mean, you're super rich. Thank you. Yes. So, how you say, have I come into this wealth? Well, I would say to you, by being a daughter or son of the Most High. Yes. yes. So, what are our treasures then? What's in our little treasure box? Luke 6, 38 says, well, here's what you got to do. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Yes. yes. Well, how much? Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together. Yes. Running over, yes. uh -huh. shall men give unto your bosom. Yes. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Yes. Yes. Now, what does rich mean? Rich mean, it can mean having a great deal of money, prosperous. It can mean plentiful, abundant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your father is rich. Mm -hmm. Yes. And since he's rich, that makes you rich. Yes. We have an inheritance. Yes. yes. Luke 12, 32 says, Fear not, little flock. Remember, we're those sheep. Mm -hmm. For it is your father's good pleasure yes. to give you the kingdom. He yes. wants to give you the riches. Yes. yes. Ephesians 2, Paul says, Before we allowed God's power, before we allowed this to happen. God's power to transform our lives. We were dead in trespasses and sins. Yes. We walked according to the course of this world. Right. According to the spirit that works disobedience. Uh -huh. Fulfilling the lust of the flesh and of the mind. That, that sounds horrible. Yes. Verse 4. But God. But God. Yes. Amen. Who is rich in mercy. Yes. Yes. For his great love yes. wherewith he loved us. Amen. Even when we were dead in sin, uh -huh. has made us alive with Christ. We're yes. not dead anymore. We're alive. Yes. Alive with Christ yes. and made us to sit together. Yes. We sit together yes. in yes. heavenly places yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches. <laughs> yes. He's not a little bit rich. Exceeding riches of his grace in the kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. He is rich in mercy. Yes. And we partake in it. He is rich in mercy. Yes. Yes. And we partake in it. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Add that to your little treasure chest. Yes. And there's some gold coins in there. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Psalm 1, you. let's just praise him. I just feel praise. Thank hallelujah. you, Lord Jesus. He's Thank our king. Hallelujah. You, he is our king. He is our master. He is our father. Lord, we just praise you. You're just worthy of it. We ought to have a praise break. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you for what he has given us this inheritance. If it wasn't for him, we'd still be dead in trespasses. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day it is well. It is well. Thank you, Lord. We may do Hallelujah. that every time. Have some praise break. Glory. Every Glory. time we add to the treasure chest. Hallelujah. So Jesus. your mercy's in there. Yes. And that's a big one right there. Hallelujah. Thank Look, you, Lord. you can't pay God for mercy. That's right. No, you, you cannot can. buy him. We'll get to that. We'll Amen. see somebody who tried. He got in trouble. Hallelujah. Psalm 145, 8 and 9 says, The Lord is gracious. Yes. And full of compassion. Yes. He's slow to anger and of great mercy. The yes. Lord is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all of his works. Yes. He is good. Yes. Yes. I mean good. Yes. Yes. We know how the world measures wealth. Right? Uh -huh. By your possessions, your lifestyle. You can tell, you know. Yeah. Not everybody, but some people, they like to show off that they're wealthy, right? Right, yes. amen. Right. But with God, it's actually the opposite. Yes. Yes. God does not measure wealth by how much stuff you have, That's right. and he doesn't care. Are you right. the richest man or woman in the world? He doesn't count that as success and wealth. Right. Sometimes it's quite the opposite yes. with him. Right. We read in Luke 12 where Jesus says, take heed. Mm -hmm. That means pay attention, wake up, watch yes. out, and beware of yes. covetousness. Yes. Yes. For a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things he possesses. He right. straight up says it right there. Yes. Right. He says that he lays up treasure for himself is not rich right. toward God. Yes. Right. He said, sell what you have, yes. give it to the poor, yes. provide for yourselves bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail. Amen. This right. is what we have. Yes. We have a treasure in the heavens yes. that yes. will not fail. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Our bags aren't going to wear out. Thank 
you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Glory to your name. Our Thank riches you. are not going to fail. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Because he does not fail. Right. Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew 16, for what is a man profited? If he gains the whole world. If he gains the whole, the the whole, whole world. world. Think uh -huh. about the whole world. Hallelujah. Think about all of it. Amen. I come up to you and I give, didn't Satan try that mess with Jesus? Yes. yes. I'm going to give you all this. Yes. Mm -hmm. That just blows my mind that he made it in the first place. Right. That just shows you, you know, yes. <laughs> how he thinks. But anyway, if a man gains the whole world and loses his soul, what are you going to do when eternity comes? Right. What are you going to do with all that world that you gain? Yeah. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Hmm. Nothing. Uh -uh. You can't. You can't. Right. Your riches are not going to help you. Right. There was a man named Albert Nobel. He's where we get the Nobel Peace Prize from. Uh -huh. He got so rich from investing in dynamite. Well, inventing. He invented it, actually. He invented dynamite. That when his housemate was getting married, he asked her what she wanted for a wedding present. And he said, or he asked her, what, what would you like for a wedding present for me? He was never married. He never had children. And she said, as much as you make in a day. The next day, she had a check for $100,000. Wow. One day. Albert never married. So he, he was contemplating on who would get his fortune when he passed away because he never had an heir. He never married. Um, he decided that a person that had done something extraordinary for the world or whatever they're supposed to do was to receive $1 million. This has been going on for 104 years. Mm -hmm. Albert Nobel knew that he was going to die and he could not take it with him. Right. He knew it was going to be here. All the material possessions he had incurred behind, he knew he couldn't take it. Right. People find treasure in many different things on this earth and every one of them are temporal. temporal. That's right. But God, yes. but God, his treasure never ends and it cannot be, you cannot measure his treasure. That's right. This thing is endless. It's deep. Yes. You cannot measure his treasure. No, God's don't. treasure does not fail. No. We have everlasting treasure. Yes. Yes. Our bags are not, you don't have to worry about your bag. You don't have to replace it. You don't have to worry about it. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord. This is good news. You, I mean, we, we may have already known some of this, but I'm just saying. Hallelujah. One time there was this lady who went to a well to draw water in the heat of the day, I believe it was. And she saw a man there that was at the well. The man said to her, if you knew who I was, <laughs> uh -huh. you would ask me for the living water. She yeah. said, I need this because I'm tired of coming out here to this well. Give me this living water so uh -huh. I don't be thirsty anymore. We know that was Jesus. Yes. Sweet Jesus. Yes. That you cannot tell me went all way out of his way to sit at this well waiting on this lady by coincidence. He was saying, if you come to me, yes. come to me, yes. I will give you this eternal life. Your soul will never be parched again. Right. There's a river of life flowing oh, out of me. Yes. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Praise yes. him right now. Yes. God's treasure does not fail. Good. It's everlasting. We partake in it. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank we you. get it. Yes. We Thank get to have it. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We have Lord. people in Hollywood that think they are above the law. Uh huh. Yeah. Their riches and their name can get them out of judgment. I've yes. seen it happen. Like uh -huh. on video when the police oh, yeah. pull them over. I've actually seen them say, Do you know who I am? <laughs> nope. Not according to the word of God, you are not going to escape That's judgment right. because of who you are. That's right. Or what riches you have. That's right. Psalm 49 is really good if you want to read and understand God's viewpoint on what he considers wealth. <laughs> he says, hear all you people. He's talking to rich. He says, rich, poor, everybody. Uh -huh. My mouth will speak wisdom. Yeah. Those that trust in wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches cannot redeem his brother yeah. or give God ransom for him. Right. For the redemption of their souls is costly. Yeah. We see the rich man dies, uh -huh. the poor man dies, yeah. and leave what they do have to others. Yes. Yeah. 
They think inside that their name and house will continue on, but it does not endure. Yeah. That's what God thinks about it. Mm -hmm. So after you read that in Psalm 49, flip on over to Luke 16. There was a rich man yeah. who was clothed in purple and fine linen. Yeah. Now I'm telling you, when you have on purple, especially back then, that color purple, we knew he was wealthy. Royalty yeah. wore it. It was expensive. Yeah. Uh -huh. This man lived in luxury. Yeah. But when he died, he went to hell. Uh -huh. Well, he knew this man called Lazarus because this man had sat at his gate begging. Uh -huh. He knew Lazarus. Yes. Yeah. And he cried when he saw Abraham. There was Abraham and Lazarus was over there. He said, hey, wait a minute. There's that beggar Lazarus. Uh -huh. I'm over here dying. I'm, I'm in torment. Yes. I believe he asked if if he could dip his finger in the water and give because just to, yes. the torment of the yes. fire and the, the heat. Yes. Lazarus was a beggar who laid at his gate wanting food and his body had sores all over it. Uh -huh. yeah. But Lazarus was in the arms of Abraham. Yeah. The rich man said to Abraham, will you please send Lazarus to my father's house? I have five brothers. Hmm. Let Lazarus witness to them so they won't come to this place. Let Lazarus go and try to convince them mm. and tell them. And Abraham, Abraham said, your family had Moses. Yeah. They had the law of Moses and the scriptures of what the prophets said, and they would not listen. Right. If they wouldn't listen to Moses, they aren't going to listen to Lazarus. Right. It's just as Psalm 49 said. His riches could not redeem his That's brother right. That's or right. give God ransom. For right. Him. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your family. No. Proverbs 15, 16 says, Better is little, if you just have a little bit, with the fear of the Lord. That's right. Than great treasure and trouble therewith. It is better to have a little yes. bit. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, he is our king. He yes. is worthy. Yes. He is yes. worthy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. The rich man did not acknowledge God. God. That's what he didn't do. Thank you. He loved his riches more. Yes. God told us in the latest prophecy that was brought forth. Look, it says read prophecy. Thank you, Lord. I got to go get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He told us. I believe it was this one. On April 6th. He tells us down here at the bottom. You got to watch yourself, you know. There have been a lot of people entrusted with God's financials. Uh -huh. say. He says it straight to us, right out of the mouth of Sister Shelley. I will bless you in your finances, mm -hmm. but seek me, little ones. There's a but in there. Yes. But. Yes. Seek me. Yes. That kind of scares me. I'm not going to lie, Sister Lee. It says, <laughs> but seek me like, hold on. I have entrusted in the past many, That's right. and they have failed me. Right. Ooh, uh uh. I am not trying to be one of them. <laughs> no. For I will trust you with my finances, and you will be blessed, saith the Lord God. I just got, uh uh. I don't want to be one of those that fail the Lord. He entrusted yeah. finances yeah. to you, and you failed him. Yeah. Uh, uh uh. No, we're not going to be that. That we're not going to be that. No. Yeah. We're going to seek God. <laughs> yeah. We're going to seek the Lord, and when He says give, we're going to give. Yeah. Amen. Because yes. yeah. it's better to have little with the fear of the Lord. Thank That's you. That's right. Thank we you. saw what happened to the rich man. Thank That's you. That's right. And where was Lazarus? He was on the other side of yes. the Gulf, right? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. We have to be careful when we come out of the wilderness of Paran. We've been in that wilderness all this time. Uh -huh. When we come out, he told us, you need to look back and remember all of those places and who brought you out of it. Right. I remember him talking about the wilderness of Paran, uh -huh. how there, it was just barren. Right. There's nothing. It's, it's very, very difficult to survive. Right. But he brought you through it. Amen. Yes. Don't forget who got you here. He warned the Israelites about that when they came to the promised land. Yeah. I would recommend a person who has a desire for earthly treasures to ask God to change your heart. It's about the condition of Amen. the heart. Right. So that you desire his treasures more than earthly treasures. Amen. And it can be done. What happened to the prodigal son hmm. when he came back? Yes. What did dad say? 
Dad said, bring the best robe. Come on, bring it out, the best one we got. Yes. Put a ring on his hand, put yes. shoes on his feet. 2 Corinthians 4 says, but we have this treasure. Yes. In earthen vessels. Yes. This whole earthen vessel. Yes. We have this treasure yes. that the excellency of the power yes. may be of God yes. and not of uh, us. Yes. Thank yes. you. Right. It's not us. Right. He is rich in power. Yes. Yes. And we partake in it. Yes. He's rich in power. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you. We partake in that. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Does all this mean God wants us to be poor? He wants us to be poor beggars. That's what he's saying. He wants to be like Lazarus. No, that's not what it means. That's right. Does this mean he doesn't want us to prosper? No, that's not what it means. No, it Notice the scriptures we read are about rich men. They're already rich. That's right. And they trusted in their riches, yes. not in God. That's right. God wants to bless you with financial freedom. He wants to do that yes. and get you out of debt in the natural. Yes. But yes. the treasure we're talking about is not just in the natural. Yes. Yes. But... Here is how he wants the condition of the heart to be. These are your qualifications to be a professional treasure hunter. Psalm 37, 3 and 4. Trust in the Lord and do good. Yes. So thou shalt dwell in the land and you shall be fed. Yes. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Yes. Commit your way unto the Lord and trust in him. And he shall bring it to pass. We got to trust him. Mm -hmm. We got to desire him, delight in him, commit to him. Yes. He is the ultimate treasure. Yes, he is. When yes, you treasure is. him yes. above yes. all else. Yes. yes. And you let him have your heart and make him your desire. Yes. You have incurred yes. greater yes. treasures than this world can ever offer you. Oh, yes. You can Google right now the richest man, woman, whatever in the world. Yes. yes. And you can best believe one of these days you're going to find this out. Mm -hmm. When you stand before him and you see, you see that robe that fills the temple, mm -hmm. that king wearing many crowns, none of that's going to matter. That's right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What an awesome, Thank awesome you, God Amen. that yes. we serve. He yes. does not Praise look at you. things like the world does. No, right. And I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. God will even cause the wicked to give unto the righteous. Yes. Amen. He'll take riches from the world and give it to the church. Amen. Yes, he will. In Isaiah 23, God was giving out judgment. Tyre was on the list. I read the Greek. I, I read the, oh, the Greeks, yeah. The Greeks called the people from Tyre purple folk because of the famous purple dye. You know, it was a wealthy city. It was by the sea. They did a lot of trading. Yeah. They made a lot of nations rich. Mm -hmm. So the Lord was calling them out. God said, although Tyre makes other places rich with their trade and so forth, there will come a day when Tyre's gain will be set apart for me. Hmm. It will be for the Lord's people to eat sufficiently and for fine clothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there you go. I'm going to take you down and strip you to nothing. Uh -huh. And then when I build you back up, it's going to be for me and my people. Right. Thank you, Lord. To Hallelujah. eat sufficiently and for fine clothing. Yes. For my people. Thank you. Yes. I want a story. Hallelujah. Isaiah 22, the Lord calls out the treasurer over the king's household. This was the guy who took care of everything for the king. If you want to get to the king, you had to go through him. Uh-huh. Of Judah, the king of Judah. His name was Shebna. He was a mess. That's what he was. Shebna. We're going to go with Shebna. He had been the main one that was pro-Egypt. Now, what did God tell Judah? Stay away from Egypt. Hmm. Stop trusting in Egypt. You're supposed to be trusting in me. I'm your king. Yes. You need to stop trying to trust in them. He was so happy with himself, though, that he thought he was going to be such a big hero that he had a tomb built in his memory. He wasn't even dead yet, but he's got this tomb built for when he does. Because he's a big old hero because he was pro-Egypt. That his real prideful heart. God hates pride. I mean, he just does. Every yes. single time he hates pride. Yes. Look in the Old Testament when woe to woe to you, woe to you. It's because you had pride yes. and God has taken you down. Yes. So Shebna had a prideful heart. He's real proud of himself. Mm -hmm. So God said, 
you're so sure that you're going to die a hero and be remembered. You have this big old tomb uh, in your memory. Join them with Egypt and all that you're doing. Think that they can help you, help deliver you. When Judah, when I told you that I'm your king. He said, it's not going to be so. You're not going to die a hero. You're going to die a pauper in a foreign land. Mm. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take from you and I'm going to give to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I will give your office to another. I mm -hmm. have his name. It's called, he's, his name is Eliakim. Is that right? Eliakim. Eliakim. Man, I never thought of that. Okay. Eliakim. God says, I'm going to clothe him with your robe. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to strengthen him with your belt. Mm. I will give the government into his hand. And he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Ooh. Take off your robe. It's not yours. I'm giving it to him. Mm. And give him your belt. Mm -hmm. Give him the keys. Amen. Yes. Verse 22. This is the big one, Sister Lee. And the key of the house of David, Lord have mercy, will I lay upon his shoulder. Mm. So he shall open and none shall shut. Wow. And he shall shut and none shall open. If he opens the door, you can't shut it. Right. And if he closes it, you can't open it. Right. Oh, Lord Jesus. I feel the anointing you, taking Jesus. over right now. Because here's what we're going to do. He was over the king's household. Yes. Now, after you read that, Sister Shelley, flip to a Second Kings chapter 18. Here's what it says. The king of Judah at that time was King Hezekiah. Mm -hmm. After you read that, then you can flip to Revelation 3. You're going to spend a little time in here. Revelation 3, and read the letter to the church at Philadelphia. You will see in verse 7. Oh, this is the Lord talking. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things. Saith he that is holy. He that is true. He that hath the key of David. He that opens and no man shuts. And shuts that no man opens. Mm -hmm. I know thy works I have yes. set before thee. Mm -hmm. An open door. Yes. And no man can shut it. Right. You have a little strength and have kept my word. Mm -hmm. And have not denied my name. Mm -hmm. This key of David represents Jesus' authority. Yes. He is the king. Yes. Yes. One yes. writer put it this way. When the keys were taken away from Shebna and given to Eliakim, as second in command only to the king, Eliakim served as the gatekeeper, mm -hmm. granting or denying access to the king's presence, mm -hmm. and thus to God-given authority and blessings of the royal line, as well as to the resources of the treasury and storehouses. Mm -hmm. But we have now Jesus mm -hmm. has this key. Mm -hmm. This key. And we have access to the king's presence. Would you be able to just walk up in the palace and see King Charles? No. Why not? Besides that. You can't get in. The gate is locked. He's got guards. He has guards all around. You don't have the key. And you don't know the guy who does. And if you do know the guy who does, is he going to open it for you? No way. But if we could really just understand, just you have access. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. The gatekeeper has opened the gates. Yes. To the presence of yes. the king. Yes. All you have to do is go in. Amen. Uh -huh. The more you seek him, that's yes. all you have to do. And you have control over that. Yes. yes. See this good news. Yes. You can go right in. That's you don't need to right. go see King Charles. Yes. He can't do nothing for Amen. you. Right. But I'll tell you who can. Yes. The king yes. of kings. Because yes. one day King Charles is going to bow. Yes. Because he don't have a choice. Every yes. knee's going to bow. Yes. Thank, yes. You, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our king of kings. Thank you, yes. Lord. We love you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. He is awesome. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Deuteronomy 28 says, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, his storehouse. Yes. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, mm -hmm. and to bless all the work of thine hand, and you shall lend and not, and not, borrow. And not borrow. Hallelujah. That's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, 
your king has those kings. And yes. therefore, as a child of God, you have this open door yes. to the presence of God, yes. the king, yes. to the authority yes. and blessings yes. of the Thank royal you. line, yes. royalty here. Yes. Y'all yes. think King Charles is royalty? <laughs> In the natural, maybe. Look at through God's eyes. Yes. Through God's eyes. Yes, in the natural. Blessings of the royal line and resources of the treasury. You have resources of the... It's right here. Hallelujah. You have these resources of the treasury. Yes. Go on in there. Mm. Claim it. It's yes. yours. Yes. All of these things are yours. Yes. yes. His mercy. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. His righteousness, his yes. goodness. Yes. He is rich with abundance and provision. Yes. He has all that. Amen. Yes, yes, he does. We know John 3, 16. He gave his only son. Yes. Right. He knew that what was going to happen to Jesus. Yes. He knew the pain that he would endure. Yes. He loved you enough to send him. Yes. He did it. He loved you enough to go through with it. Yes. yes. Amen. We know what God is made of. He's made of love. Yes. He's yes. our treasure. Yes. yes. And God's love is our treasure, and it's beyond measure. I don't know if I said this, but that's the name of this message. Treasure beyond measure. Oh, Hallelujah. You he cannot is. measure him. No, no you right. can't. You cannot. The Bible says you can't even imagine what you can't even think about asking. Right. It just goes beyond our little human brains. Yes. Right. He's rich in love. Yes. yes. He's rich in love, Sister Lisa, right here. Yes. Indeed. Just add that on in there. Hallelujah. And you partake in it. This is for you. Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes. Who can do that but God? Right. Who can do that? Right. He is rich in strength. Yes. He is rich in love, and yes. we partake in it. Yes. Kingly riches. Yes. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. His dominion endures throughout all generations. Yes. He is royal. Yes, he is. Zebedee's wife recognized it. Mm -hmm. Remember her? She said, I want one of my sons to sit on your right side and one of my sons to sit on your left side. Yeah. She knew he was royalty. She yeah. recognized it. Uh huh. John said he saw it too. He said he saw jasper stones. They're believed to be multicolored stones. Um, the, the sardius, the red stones. Mm -hmm. Um, and there was a rainbow around the throne shining like an emerald. Do y'all just walk around with that kind of stuff on? He's royal. He's the king. He's royalty. Amen. He's God. Right. Yes. Shining like an emerald. Thank you, Jesus. And we know there are 12 gates of pearls and yes. pure gold in yes. his kingdom because he's the king of yes. kings. Yes. Amen. Amen. Abraham recognized it. Yes. He sure did. Thank you. Melchizedek. How do you like to spell that on your kindergarten paper? Mikhail the Dick Pettit. <laughs> so, Mikhail the Dick blesses Abram. Mm -hmm. Abraham recognized. Mm -hmm. It says, And blessed be the Most High God, which has delivered thine enemies into thy hand. Mm -hmm. And he gave him tithes of all. Mm -hmm. See, Abraham became very wealthy. Yes. But he knew yes. who that came from. Amen. Yes. Right. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, give me some people, and take the goods to thyself. And Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the possessor of heaven and mm -hmm. earth. Yes. yes. He knew That's right. who possessed yes. heaven and earth. Right. I will not take from a thread, even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is yours. Amen. Right. Lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. He was also smart, yes. right? Yes. I'm not going to take your stuff, Amen. and then you try to take credit for me being rich. I'll tell you who did it, the yes. possessor of heaven and earth. Yes. Abraham recognized it. Amen. Zebedee's wife recognized it. Yes. We Lord recognize it. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Remember how God told Moses to make an ark, to put in the tabernacle? It was to be overlaid with gold. It sounds like it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was. It was. I mean, he came down and sat on it. But what was in it? This is not just somebody's footstool. You know, we have in our living room or something. You just stuff stuff in there. 
This is the Ark of the Covenant where God's presence dwelt. Yeah. Whatever it was, it had to be of the utmost importance. Mm -hmm. We know his commandments, his word was in there. Mm -hmm. His miracle of provision was in there, the little manna bowl. Yes. The blessing of the Levitical priesthood. Jesus is now our high priest. Yes. Yeah. From the order of Melchizedek, mm -hmm. line of Judah. That was his little treasure chest. Think about what was in there. His word. What did he tell us recently? My word. You have to know my word. Mm -hmm. Abide in me and I in you. I abide in his word. Yes. Right. Psalm 112 says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord. Mm -hmm. That delights greatly in his commandments. Yes. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. That's us. The 14th generation. That is us. Verse 3 says, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Yes, he amen. is rich in righteousness, yes. and we partake in it. There's some more you can just dip in there. He's rich in righteousness. Thank uh -huh. you, Lord Jesus. Yes, it's filling up over here. Jesus. Mercy, love, yes. goodness, grace. strength. Grace. Look at all. Grace. grace. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I see something special in here. It's just filling up. Mm. You got provision in there. You found out your royalty. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Thank Bring out the Jesus. robe. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are so wealthy. Did you know? Did you know that? That you're very wealthy? Amen. Amen. You think people believe you? No. <laughs> we don't go by what they say. We go by what God says. Right. Amen. Don't look in the natural. That's Stop right. it. Stop looking in the natural. That's right. He's already told some of us in this place he's going to move in your finances in the natural. You don't need to worry about that. That's done. It's already done. What he wants you to see is that you are a treasure to him. You are a treasure to him. And you have the greatest treasure anyone could ever have because you love Jesus. You love Jesus. There are people sitting in his in church every week. But they don't love him. You love him. Amen. You are his treasure. He loves you. Yes. And and you know what? Wait till we get to the end if you think this is good. You just wait, Sister Shelley. <laughs> Colossians 2, 3 says, In God the Father and Jesus Christ are hid all the treasures yes. of wisdom and knowledge. Yes. Yes. I'm picking up the same ones, but anyway. Yes. Wisdom and knowledge. Yes. There's some more. This thing's going to be so heavy. Camden's going to have to carry it out. <laughs> Colossians said there are riches, our full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. Somebody, please say that again because I did. I had to really break that down. Here's what it says. You have a wealth mm -hmm. of assurance. Yes. Yes. Blessed assurance. Yes. Jesus, Jesus is, is mine. mine. Yes. And if you go on down, it says... Heir of salvation. Heir of salvation. Yes. You're yes. an heir here because yes. you're royalty. Remember, yes. you're rich and wealthy. Yes. Because Thank of you. your father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know the truth. Yes. Yes. You understand the truth. Yes. Yeah, I know that. Like I've known that for years. That's a kind of a big deal Amen. because other people don't. Yes. Right. You have a wealth yes. of knowledge and understanding. Yes. You have yes. gifts. You've been using these gifts. You're like super, you're a big deal. You're wealthy because of your father. Yes. It means a deposit that is wealth. The Greek word for treasure in this verse is it means a deposit that is wealth. Mm -hmm. So your wisdom and your knowledge that you have. It's like a deposit of wealth. Mm. We y'all are wealthy. Y'all are wealthy. Amen. If you still don't understand that, remember this. And then we sing blessed assurance. Remember you're an heir. Yes. You're an heir. Yes. yes. God is rich in truth. Yes. And we partake in it. Here's yes. some more some truth. Hallelujah. There's some truth. Yes. It's getting real heavy. Thank you, Lord. Nehemiah 10:38. And the priest, the son of Aaron, shall be with the Levites. Yes. When the Levites take tithes, we talked about Abraham, he paid tithes. Mm -hmm. You see what happened to him. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. And the Levites shall bring up the tithes of the tithes unto the house of our God, to the chambers, into the treasure house. There's the treasure house. Yes. 
Job 38. Did you know that God, I always like to read this, maybe just this one part in Job. The rest of it kind of scares me. But did you know that God even had a treasury of snow? I mean, has. I said has. He has a treasury of snow. Here's what he says. Have you, he's asking Job, have you entered into the treasury of snow? Hmm. Nope, didn't know you had one until just now. <laughs> or have you seen the treasures of hell, hmm. which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? He has stuff mm -hmm. waiting for the day of war and battle. Yes. And in Psalms, it says he has storehouses for the deep. The word storehouses here means treasury or cellars. Yes. Uh -huh. He has control of these things. Yes, he does. Forget going to see King Charles. I want to go to see King Jesus. Amen. Thank you, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 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 The weather and such, he controls these things. In yes. Psalm 144, David says, David says this, Happy is the people yes. whose God is the Lord. Yes. Happy yes. is the people. Yes. He can make our barns to be full with all manner of produce. He can make our sheep bring forth thousands and ten yes. thousand is yes. what David said. Look what he can do. Yes. He can make our oxen strong. He said we are a happy people. Uh -huh. Our Father has more than enough for all of us. Yes. And it's his good pleasure to give it to yes. us. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes. Listen, if people yes. can jump around scream and holler when they win the lottery, we can praise Amen. God right now. Thank you, God, Amen. for Thank all of his abundance. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Because I'd much rather have Amen. Jesus than a lottery ticket. Thank you, Lord. 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 It's his yeah. good pleasure to Glory. give it to you. Yes. Glory to yeah. God. Yeah. He wants to. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Matthew 19, 21. A rich young man comes to Jesus. Uh -huh. He comes on over to him when he sees him coming by. And he says, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You know, like we have, uh, he says, you know, like our inheritance. This is what he wants. He's wanting our inheritance. Eternal life. He said he has kept all the commandments of God since his youth. Mm -hmm. So Jesus says, if you want to be perfect, go and sell what you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. That's right. That's all I gotta do. I'm just gonna go sell all my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna follow him. I got treasure. Is that what he did? No. No. That's not what he did. He was, the Bible said he was sad. Yeah. So he had a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he wasn't willing to let go of it. Mm -hmm. That heart. Yes. I kept the commandments. I kept your commandments all my life. But his heart was hard. Been in church all my life. Yeah. But you don't love it. Mm -hmm. You don't have that. That's right. Trade in all these earthly riches for eternal life. He was really rich. Yeah. He didn't do it. No, he Here's our treasure. Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure yes. that is hid in a field, yes. the which when a man has found it, yes. he hides it. And yes. for joy, he goes and he sells all that he has, yes. and he buys that field, the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Money can't buy that. No, it Psalm 103, Lord bless this Bible. Psalm 103, 1 and 5. Thank you. Maybe one of my family members will see this. Feel led to buy me a new one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. What does he do? He forgives all of your iniquities. Yes. yes. He heals all of your disease. Yes. yes. Do you know another king that can do that stuff? No. Who redeems thy life from destruction. Yes. He redeems your life from Amen. destruction. Yes. yes. Destruction. Who crowns thee with loving kindness yes. and tender mercies. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He satisfies your mouth with good things yes. so that thy youth is renewed yes. like the eagles. Yes. Thank you, Do Lord. you know a king? That can do these things. No. no. Only Jesus. God. That's it. Hallelujah. Our treasure, salvation, mercy, love, grace, truth, 
everlasting life, mm -hmm. power of the Holy Ghost, yes. strength, righteousness, holiness, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, protection. We could be here till Christmas. <laughs> we have the ultimate treasure. You already have it. Yes. And we should treat him like the treasure that he is. Amen. There are so many verses on these, like I said, we would be here until Christmas. Mm -hmm. But God gave me a few words. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He wanted me to, to tell you this is how he wants to be described today. Since it's about treasure. Mm -hmm. Splendor. Splendor is luxury, glory, majesty. The opposite of splendor is ordinary. He is not ordinary. No, he's not. He is anything but ordinary. That's right. Another one is magnificence. I don't know if you guys remember, but at the last picnic youth day we had, my brother brought forth a message on the magnificence of God, and the kids played games, and every time we put up a word, Describing his magnificence, mm -hmm. beauty, brilliance, elegance, radiance. Mm -hmm. I believe this is pronounced grandeur, grand, grander, grander. Grand. Thank you, Ashley. Greatness, splendid, impressive, superb, mm -hmm. high rank or social importance. Yeah. Brilliance. Brightness, radiance, blaze, glow. The opposite of brilliance is darkness and gloom. Mm -hmm. That's not him. No, it's no, not. Amen. He's no. not ordinary. That's right. No, he's not. And then he kept he kept leading me to this word, luster. And I thought, what? That means shiny? A glow of reflected light. Mm -hmm. hmm. Reflecting quality. We are supposed to emit the light of Jesus to this world. Right. And that takes spending time with him in his presence, seeking him. And that is how you become a professional treasure hunter. Yes. Exodus 3429. And it came to pass when Moses came down from the Mount Sinai mm -hmm. with the two tables of testimony in his hand. When he came down from the Mount his face, it shines so bright. Mm -hmm. He had to put a veil over it. Why? What, what in the world? He had been mm -hmm. in the presence yes. of the King. Amen. The Almighty God. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Ask Paul about the intense light he saw. Yes. We know what happened to him. Amen. Yes. Ezekiel 127. Thank you, Lord. I tried to mark it so it didn't take me <clears throat> time. And I saw the color of amber as the appearance of fire round about within it. From the appearance of his loins upward and from the appearance of his loins downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire. Mm -hmm. And it had brightness round about. These are the people who have seen things that we haven't seen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And there's a thing all across the board, bright, yes. bright, bright. Mm -hmm. We'll look at Revelation. John saw lots of stuff. Yes, he, yes, did. he did. Thank you, Jesus. For Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, I wrote it. I typed it up so I wouldn't have to do this. Revelation 4 and 3. And he that sat... On this throne was to look upon like a jasper and the sardis stone we talked about. Mm -hmm. There was a rainbow around the throne. Mm -hmm. He's not ordinary. That's right. No, he's not. In sight like an emerald. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Mm -hmm. And on his head were many crowns. God, yeah. he's the king of kings. Yes. Yes. Amen. And you have all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Hallelujah. He himself. Right, amen. Hallelujah. He was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, help me not to bawl this whole time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
Thank you, Jesus. We have talked all this time about the treasures that you have in God. Yes. Right. We can never fully get it all because he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, abundantly. more than yes. you can ask yes. or imagine. You can't even imagine yes. enough. No, that's true. He's going to prepare a place for us. Thank Amen. you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So here's what we're going to do. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When I was seeking the Lord for this message, I was, you know, getting all this information about all the wealth we have. Mm -hmm. We talked about it, listed them. There's like a million more, but gemstones came to me. You're a treasure hunter, digging for treasure in God, and all the while you have been trying to get this treasure that you have. You're the treasure to God. Mm -hmm. You are the treasure to him. Yes. We talked about the palm. There's a difference between a pine tree and a palm tree. Yes, it is. A pine tree will snap. A palm tree will break or will bend. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the table salt versus the purest form of salt. We talk about other precious metals versus platinum. Not all gemstones are created equal. That's right. right. We, let's see who you are tonight. Hallelujah. Some aren't real. But they look flawless on the outside. Yes. Mm. I mean, I know you're the real one is what I'm saying. A gemstone is a piece of mineral crystal that's used when it's cut or polished to make jewelry or adornments. Mm. First Peter 3, 3 and 4. Who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and wearing gold or putting on apparel. What's he looking at? But let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God a great prize. Yes. Yes, it is. This is why you shine like a gemstone to him. 1 Timothy 2, 9 and 10. In like manner, the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, not with the hair, gold, or pearls, or costly array, but with good works. So luster, we go back to luster. Mm -hmm. It's the manner in which the stone reflects light. How is our luster? Mm -hmm. How much light are we reflecting? Amen. Because he's light. Yes. yes he bright, is. bright, bright. Yes. Real gemstones have inclusions in them that cannot be replicated artificially. Inclusion means something that's on the inside of the depths of the stone. And it's coming out and showing on the outside. Mm. These are not real sapphires. They're not worth as much as sapphires because they cannot be the quality of them. They don't have the depth of a sapphire. Mm -hmm. You can't replicate it. You can't fake it. No, you can't. Synthetic gemstones may appear flawless, mm -hmm. but they lack the depth and luster that natural gemstones have. Synthetic right. gems always have a natural counterpart. Mm -hmm. So there's people in the world looking. Mm -hmm. They're trying to find the real gemstones. Mm -hmm. And some of them are being led over here by the synthetic ones. <coughs> How can you tell them apart? Visual exam, observe it for a little while and see. Mm -hmm. Eventually you're going to see what this gemstone displays. Mm -hmm. You can measure it. What about the treatment? What has the gemstone been through? Mm. Has it been cut? Mm. Has it been subjected to high amounts of heat? Mm. Real gemstones will have a more vivid, listen to this. You're not going to. Real gemstones, that's you, have a more vivid color and fewer imperfections mm -hmm. than the synthetic. Hmm. First Peter 2, 5 and 9. Now we're talking about stones here as we're building, right? Mm -hmm. These kind of stones. As lively stones, you are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood 
to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus. Mm -hmm. You are a chosen generation. Yes. yes. A royal priesthood. Yes. A Thank holy you, nation. A peculiar yes. people. Yes. Thank you. You're the real gemstone. Thank you, Jesus. That you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his what? Marvelous light. Marvelous light. Yes. These real gemstones, authentic, all the way through, not just on the surface, all the way through. Yes. And that luster mm -hmm. is just reflecting him to the world. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. God's treasure. You know, God already has jewels and riches and wealth. Amen. Kingship, all of that. He already has all those things. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. You can't buy God. Remember that one guy I was talking about? He tried to. But Peter shot him down. He said, everybody y'all touch gets the Holy Ghost. I will pay you if you give me this. And boy, it did not end well for him. Amen. You cannot buy God. That's right. Mm -mm. So what does a God who has everything, who can make anything, want? He wants you. Mm -hmm. He wants you. Yes. He has everything. Yes. He can make anything. Yes. But he wants you. Yes. yes. Treasure is something of great value or worth. Yes. So I'm telling you what the Lord is saying to you. You are of great value. You are of great worth. You are a collection of precious things. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 10 tells us that two sparrows, it says they're sold for a farthing or a coin. Mm -hmm. One of them is not going to fall to the ground without him seeing it. Right. His right. eye is on that sparrow, yes. and then what does he say? The very yes. hairs of your head are numbered. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fear not. Mm-hmm. You are of more value than mm -hmm. many sparrows. Amen. Yes. See, to your father, you're very precious and you're of great value. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm almost done with this, but I read that in 2022, only 1.1, yes, 1.1% of the entire population was wealthy with over a trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of trillionaires out there. We can probably name some of them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 1.1%, I mean, of the, the whole the whole place, the whole, the whole place, earth, yeah. the whole world. 1.1 1. 1 out of everybody. Hmm. But do you realize tonight that God does not measure wealth the way that the world measures wealth? Yes, this is true. In his kingdom, you are the 1.1%. 1. 1 because you hold in your heart the greatest treasure in existence. Yes. You are the 1.1%. 1. 1 Yes. I was praying about this message when Abba knew he wanted me to take. How do you want me to organize this? And I felt the Holy Ghost so strong, Sister Letha, and he said, my jewels. Mm. My jewels. Yes. yes. You are his jewels. Yes. 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 Not the synthetic ones. Thank right. you. Yes. Amen. The ones that have luster that reflects him yes. to the world. Yes. yes. And he yes. needs you. He needs you to do that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The world needs you to do that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has revealed to some in here Thank you, what jewel they are. Hallelujah. If, he, if you don't know, you can ask him. He'll tell you. Yes. He said, let us make man in our image. Yes. Yes. All this I've created, that's good. That's good right there. But, but let's make man in our image. And because you are called his child, you are his treasure. Yes. Thank you. It's different. You know, we have all this stuff. That's awesome. We have all this. He gave us. Yes. But who are you to him? You are his treasure. What about him? What's his treasure? It's you. Yes. There are precious stones on his holy mountain. Thank you. Ezekiel says it, 20, Ezekiel 28. Precious stones and stones of fire on the holy mountain of God. Yes. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Yes. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. Yes. Listen. Once again, King of Kings. Jesus is the gatekeeper you can go in. Yes. You have all this. Amen. And, he, and he's not a mean king. 
He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will quiet you with his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Zephaniah. If you think that's good, wait till you hear this last part. Malachi 3.17. This is the final lot of the righteous. They shall be mine. You can call me a lot of things. But the one thing that means the most is when he says you are mine. I'm his. And that means more than anything. They shall be called mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes. Remember when he said, my jewels, about you. Mm -hmm. My jewels. Yes. In that day when I make up my jewels, yes. my special treasure, I will spare them as a man spares his own son yes. that serves him. Yes. You are treasured. Yes. Yes. And that is all that I have. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand and give him Thank praise. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Glory.